All right, so I got a weird one. This is a 2010 Jeep Patriot. The horn, intermittently, goes off on its own. And I think I'm on to something here. So if we look in there, this is the Tipple, which is a totally integrated power module, which basically controls everything. It looks like the battery's been having a bad time. It's like it got into the air filter. So it probably is corroding wires and making two wires meet when the car is on. I apologize, I'm stuffy right now. So what we're gonna do is pop this integrated power module off, lift it up, and take a look at the harness underneath add to this totally integrated power module only has a few fuses this isn't a lot you would see in a normal automotive vehicle most of the relays actually all of the relays are internal of this so if you have a wiper motor relay that's gone or a horn relay which is what I'm thinking is going on here that consistently would stay on or just not turn on and off and open or close this entire module has to be replaced and they're not cheap. So anyway, I'm gonna get this off and take a look at the wiring harness underneath. Okay, so we got the wiring harness off. I'm gonna give you a little tip with these connectors. Now it might look simple to just press this release tab here and it pops up. Guess what, it doesn't do that. If you do it that way, you'll break these black tabs on the side here and then it'll never seat right. So what I do, let me put this down and see if I can get you a good angle. That's a terrible angle. Come on. There you go. I apologize for the gorilla style uh, videography. So, push down on the tab. Start wiggling it push up on this white release tab. It'll do it once. Now don't go and think that you're out of the clear yet. You're gonna push up on this and wiggle the connector at the same time and it'll release just fine. Now if you just, if you just press this button and then release this tab, as you can see it's already doing it now. It gets caught in there. It will actually break the connector. So, basically, I lift up the tab. Oh, sorry, I push down on this tab, lift it up until it gets about halfway. And then I wiggle it out and push up on this at the same time, and that'll keep that good and clear. So, so far, I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary, except for. That one connector all the way down there. So I'm gonna unplug all of these and then take a look and see what we got going on. All right, so we got the tip of them out. It doesn't look like it touched any pins. The corrosion on that looks okay from that side. That just looks like rust. So now I gotta go into my wiring diagrams and figure out where the horn goes. So, All right, so here's my wiring diagram. So I'm on the tipum, and then it's just one wire, simple circuit, goes into the horn, which is a gray and yellow wire going to be generous and tell me show component location. Fantastic. It looks like it's one of the big ones. Alright, so we're going to go back one, back to that harness. Click on this. Uh, show component view. It's the black one. 
Right through back on the car. This is the black one. Oh, that wiring diagram is incorrect. I am not seeing a gray and yellow wire. Oh, that's 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 great. All right, let's back to the diagram. All right, so. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm looking at the wrong one. That's the one that goes into the horn. I need the one that goes into the tip of. So I need this one. It's a C1 connector? C11. That's not very descriptive. It's a 22 pin. Fused horn output is pin eight and nine. Tip and internal, blah, 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 blah. Of course it's not serviced. Let's see what they show. It's that one. I don't think that's correct because it's literally the connector we're looking at. I don't have a gray and yellow wire in here. Was it gray and yellow? It has to be gray and yellow because that was the color of the one that was on the horn. Go back one. Yeah, gray and yellow. This isn't making any freaking sense. Let's go back into this. Internal, 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 internal. That's because I'm looking at the, this. I need to see this. So it's a, oh my goodness. Horn one. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. I think I'm looking at the right harness. Yeah, I'm looking at the right harness. It's the green one. Green. And it's pin. Pin nine. All right, so let's look at the green connector, which is this one. My light. And there it is, gray and yellow. All right. So what we're going to do, try and my best and reach my hand down there, because that's where the horn is. You see where that painted nut is? That's the ground of the horn. Not the ground of the horn, that's the hold down of the horn. And the connector is right there. So we should test my wires. Okay, so the setup we got going on here, we got a T-pin in the back of the connector here for our tip -em output or fused input. And then down there on that alligator clip, that's where the one wire connector and the horn is. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to check resistance first. Disconnect this. Setting the ohms. Should touch. No, that's not a good sign. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Forgot about my other lead. Still got nothing. Now, it could mean a couple things. It could be that my connections aren't that good, or we actually have an open wire. So let me double check my connections real quick. All right, let's check this again. Okay, so 
Right now I'm checking for resistance. It's pretty... I mean, that means I have no wire, so that's okay. So now, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna check it to ground. Basically, I'll just take my red lead, go to ground and it should say OL. Oh so that tells me right there that I have a good wire. So my wiring from the tip -um to the horn is okay. I'm starting to think there's a problem with my tip -um here. Not a whole lot I can do to prove that. Um, I'll take a look at where the connector went and then luckily I might be able to see if anything's melted in there. Hard to say. I mean, it was intermittent, and I might actually have a horn pad issue. But again, that's that's difficult to figure that out. Let's look at. wiring itself it looks good it looks like it was out of the blast area when this battery decided to explode actually another thing that I can do hang on sometimes you forget you have the best some of the best diagnostic tools which is this guy it's a power probe so I can send power and ground wherever I want so if I were to send power to this circuit, the horn should go off. That'll tell me 100% that the wiring is fine. So it's got ground. Yeah, that tip of, that's the problem. And that probably had something to do with the battery exploding. So there's probably acid seeping through. There's a little teeny tiny, I shouldn't say crack. It's more of a seam and it's going through and probably eating the internal circuit somewhere. I mean, I can't, I'm, I can't crack these open. I mean, they're, they're pretty much sealed. I could if I had a hammer, but then I wouldn't be able to drive this car. So that's telling me right there that this tip -um is bad and it needs to be replaced. Unfortunately, I can't show you how to replace the tip -um because they are on back order. So anyway, uh, actually showed you a lot. I showed you how to check for resistance and then this power probe. I love this thing. The, the best investment. If you're getting into the automotive field, get one of these. It'll save you over and over and over and over. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.